Alright guys, welcome back to Civilization 5 with Lone Debater 7. Uh, still playing the Shoshone. Got our settlers queued up so we can get our cities expanded, making a farm. Super cool. Um, as far as like expansion goes, when I build settlers, I make sure I lock all my tiles to the highest production ones. Just because like it doesn't cost you any food anyway, so you might as well maximize it. Things like that. Like that's That's about the extent of my micromanaging on Civ, like, yeah, I know you can do a lot more, and it matters when you're playing against actual people, because whatevs, but I, I'm i not too worried about it, like, it's a single player, Prince level difficulty, like, it doesn't matter, you can completely suck the entire game and still win, but, uh, yeah, we're, we're gonna take a look, um, and see... Try to finish out the Liberty Policy Tree, try to get a city over on this side, try to get the, that incense is kind of what my thought is. And then, I don't know, like there's mountains over there, so it should be pretty defensible if this um, William of Orange decides he wants to attack us. I mean, it'd be good to go get the desert tiles down below as well, but eh, probably is okay either way. I mean, I'm going to have another settler in five turns, so whatever maybe this one will go this way i'm just kind of scouting a little bit see if there's a better spot oh natural wonder that's cool eh, i guess i could try to put a city there that's pretty far away though i don't know yeah we'll go down south first and then the next one we'll throw over here try to get this silver that should work fine for what we're doing and it's only three turns like if i see a settler um coming through i can just take them it's not that difficult, really. Um, let's see. So Europe is here, and it looks decent. I mean, cotton, dyes, gold. I mean, we have quite a bit of room to expand, honestly. And, like, there's luxury resources, which is great. We are losing a little bit of money, but eh, that'll probably balance out once we finish with our settlers and can put our guys back on, like, the sugar farm and orange farm and stuff. So, eh. He's okay. Yeah, we're gonna bring him over here. And, alright. Yeah, so, early game for me, I mean, I try to get all four of my cities out pretty fast if I'm doing a liberty, uh, or tradition, rather. And I also try to make sure that I get the wonders that I want, because it can matter. Like, I want to get the Hanging Gardens, I want to get the Oracle things along those lines so if i can do all of that like perfect got our second city down decent spot i think it's down towards the end of that just in case there's somebody on africa they hopefully won't block our port here because that's the worst when someone puts a city right next to yours and blocks in your port um but i think it'll be okay i think we'll throw this city right there it's a hill it's next to a mountain there's incense silver and deer like that's a pretty good spot i think and it's relatively close so if someone comes after us we can definitely just like um take them out and like be fine so yeah no worries bring this guy back before he gets killed this city i guess can hit those barbs across the water so why not some built great library totally fine i mean it's turn 45 so kind of to be expected great this guy is gonna destroy my luxury which is the worst but whatever we can get our settler through this over because we're gonna have two more and i think i'm gonna try to go up towards egypt or uh, europe a little bit with my cities so i need to get my scout back over to escort just because there are a fair amount of barbs but this sucks i mean they're they got one of my luxuries. I still have four happiness, so it's okay. I can put another city or two and it won't matter. And we can fix that right after we kill the barb. It's just, it's not fun when they attack your stuff. So that is our settler. I'm probably gonna wait until after I kill the barb. That's what I'm gonna do. Just have you hang out here, just in case. There's a barb, we'll kill him because one less to worry about and this dude why did you stop making your mind come on <laughs> i gotta love it sit five but uh yeah 
I don't know. Um, let me know if you've played before or, you know, kind of what you like to do, what your favorite Civ is. Um, Shoshone is definitely up there for me. I like the extra tiles at the start. You know what the city's going to look like. I like the Pathfinders. You can pick your ruins. I, uh, I like playing the Shoshone. They're, they're kind of my speed on this. Um, but I've played other Civs too. Like I've done random leaders before and that's kind of fun because then you have to adapt a little bit but i don't know for a welcome back i liked uh i like doing the shoshone just single player just chill kind of have some fun with it um this is what i used to do all the time is play this game so it's bringing back some nostalgia things like that um i hope you guys can enjoy it too maybe you'll pick up on something that i'm doing in my gameplay that you didn't know about or might have some ideas for me on how to get better or whatever um just let me know what you what you like what you don't like what you see things like that down below um i will answer don't worry um but yeah civilization 5 it's great two more turns then we'll have our last settler and we can start working on hanging gardens perfect go fix this and he's probably gonna get captured which is awful. I'm going to have to buy a combat unit. Let's just do it now. Let's get an archer. They're slightly better because they can bombard and so they can shoot or whatever. But this guy maybe won't get captured. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, yes, he did get captured. Cool. Now, do we push the envelope and try to get that gold or do we come back? Mm, tempted I'm really tempted uh, why not let's let's run the risk see he will get lucky send this guy over here it should be pretty good I don't know the way I like to do it I like to kind of encapsulate my capital with four cities that way they have to go through at least one city before they can um, get to your capital or whatever um, that's kind of how I do it just to be a little bit defensive with my city placement but we're starting on the Hanging Gardens. That'll be huge if we get it. That city will skyrocket in population. And it'll make things a lot easier because we'll have more production and everything like that. But you know what? Perfect. We got some gold. Just plopped a city down. Got some ivory as well. I think we have that down below too. Yeah, we do. Um, so I need to get some workers to connect all these luxuries. But it actually is looking pretty good so far. We're up to four cities. We're going to put down one more, and we'll have five cities total, and it's going to be awesome, guys. Like, we're we're off to a pretty good start, I would say. Uh, there's Brazil next to us, so they sometimes can be difficult just because of tourism, so I want to make sure that I try to get a uh, ideology first, and maybe I can have enough votes to force everyone to get the same one as me, just because if you're dealing with, like, public unrest or whatever it makes it really difficult on your happiness to be able to do what you want to do so hopefully we can kind of keep all that under wraps and not have that be a thing to deal with in late game i think we'll be okay we seem to be expanding i mean i'm guessing that little city is their second one we're up to four so like it should be fine i don't know but we'll see get some horses just in case we have to attack someone we can build uh some horsemen which are faster they move a lot quicker and they do a decent amount of damage like it's enough i mean yeah sure spearmen are super effective but whatever who cares it doesn't really matter if you can turn units Pro granary shrine granary get the population going in all the cities that way uh you know it's not just your capital that's putting out all the wonders and stuff like that that's how you lose you got to make sure all your cities are really strong and capable of you know generating units whatever it may be so work on a granary oh cool they're fighting already that's fun enjoy that glad it's not me they declared war on but uh yeah uh you're starving there's probably doesn't look like there's anything wrong you're on food focus. What the hell? Are you like getting me? No, that's a three food tile. Like, how are you starving? Yeah, 